All right, guys, you ready to head to Portugal and Spain on a great trip and adventure? Yeah! That's not the airport, that's the doctor's office. <laughs> Let go! We're taking you! You're going to the doctor's office, come on! Did you survive? Yes. You want to go to Portugal now? We're in the capital city of Lisbon and uh, we gotta go get checked into our rental property. I gotta figure out how to drive this thing. What is that? Is that, I think that's drive. There's no USB ports in this car. They're all USB-Cs. Wait, do they drive on the left or the right side here, Becca? The right. Yeah. Right, right side? Oh, good. <laughs> That's what I think. All right, come Can check it just... out. Here we go, Mama. I'm going to the... Is this the bathroom? Oh, look, there's bunk beds in here, guys. Oh. Both of them have... Oh, look. Oh, that's <laughs> slick. I unhooked it so you can swing over the water. Oh, I get it. Do you feel like a swing? You climbed, I now you climbed. Oh, watch your head. Wow. Look at this. This is nice. Yeah. I can just sit here and listen to audiobooks. <laughs> Yeah. Is this a cool houseboat? Yeah, I wish we lived here. Well, we thought this would be kind of a fun novelty to get a houseboat in downtown Lisbon. It was actually pretty affordable. Well, listen, would you guys like to go do a little tour of Lisbon? You really? We're at a red light and there's a guy twirling a flaming baton in the intersection in front of us. I do not know if this is normal in Portugal. Well, that's a cool statue. All right, guys, we're in downtown Lisbon and we're gonna go with Teo Tuk Tuk Tours and we're gonna do a little Tuk Tuk ride around Lisbon. To me. All right, I'll sit next to you. Oh, I'm so glad to have a professional driving instead of me. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is this cool? Yeah. This is, the, this is the egg tart place? Yes. Oh, food is a priority with us. So we're gonna get some Portuguese egg tarts here, which is a traditional sweet Portuguese pastry. Oh, this place is cool. Yeah, look at the muffins are on the tray and they go around and they get dropped over there. Okay, we ordered like a ton of these. As always, I'll put a link to this place and all the other cool things we do in the video description below. All right, we got our food. <laughs> hey, -ho. When we were in Hong Kong for breakfast every morning, we'd get up and buy egg tarts and dragon fruit. Oh, it was so good. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Mm. Oh, nice. Becca, are these better than the ones in Hong Kong? Yeah. It's like a puff pastry crust and creme boulet got together and had a baby. It just, oh, this is good. I think that was worth the flight just for the egg tart. Yeah. <laughs> is this yeah. a great way to eat dinner? <laughs> so that's, that's an elevator. Yeah, go oh. to the 45 meters to the top. So right now we're just driving through the old part of Lisbon and apparently this is the second oldest neighborhood in Europe. This is built in the 10th century. We're seeing a lot of quaint little streets and cool cathedrals. Alright Becca, you want to share a croquette with me? Croquettes are like deep fried mashed potatoes with meats and veggies inside. Oh that's like a veal, a veal croquette. Check it out guys, this is the remains of a Roman theater. 
They were trying to restore a building that was destroyed during an earthquake in the 70s, and they found the remains of this giant Roman theater here. That's where they would do the gladiator fights, and they would have people fight animals, like lions and stuff. 4,000 people would come here and watch. From the 13th century. We're driving through these beautiful neighborhoods with these old houses that have these hand-painted tile facades. Just absolutely gorgeous. And with the scissors. We had to run into a cafe to use the bathroom and I bought these brigaderos. Yeah, brigaderos. I'll split it. It's delicious. I don't know what it is, but it's really soft. <laughs> <laughs> this is a part of Lisbon where they have a lot of traditional restaurants and fado music. It's kind of like a beautiful, sad uh, folk music. I think Jacob. Come to see. Hey, thanks, Paula. Thank we had Thank a great you. time. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. yeah! That was really cool and a great activity after a long day of traveling. You can hook me all right. up with. You all tucked in? All right, we'll get you to bed. <laughs> Let me see. Hey, good morning, guys. You guys sleep well? Yeah. Look, we got a picnic basket. Here, look at this. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's put everything oh my goodness. This houseboat rental has breakfast included and they just pack it all up in a picnic basket and leave it on your front porch. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. One dad. Milk, cereal. chocolate cereal. Oh, there's a chocolate cereal. This is ham and cheese rolls. Oh, oh there's a croissant. That's so cute. Oh, are you dirty? I... Alright, chocolate bug, you want me to open these for you? Yeah. Don't think these are screw caps, so. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is not too shabby. Okay. I think the boys are being attacked by seagulls on the roof. Oh, there's a big mullet down here. Oh, there he goes. Well guys, it has been a lovely Sunday morning, but me and the family are heading off to church and afterwards we're gonna drive to Gibraltar. So we're gonna go ahead and check out of the houseboat. We definitely wish we could spend more time here at the houseboat. This has been a, this has been a fun place to stay. Oh. We're running late. We better put the camera down. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh. There were some very nice people who translated for us. Very nice. But now we're gonna drive about six and a half hours through Portugal, through Spain, and go to Gibraltar. I had a much better experience in Lisbon than I thought I would. People are really friendly there, so I'd definitely come back. You like your egg card, mama? Love it. Oh, there's like castles and walled cities everywhere. We've already seen like three or four of them in the last hour. Welcome to Spain, guys. Yeah. For me and Nathan, this is our third time going to Spain. Yeah! We left you. Look, we have a view. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. There you go. Well, good morning, everybody. It's 6 a.m. and the sun hasn't risen yet. And I turned on all the lights and nobody's stirring. I may have overscheduled us a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We're here at the base of the Rock of Gibraltar. We gotta drive about 50 minutes to Tarifa, Spain to go catch a ferry to Morocco. Is this one of those days where we've bitten off more than we could chew? Yes, we're so tired. <laughs> what were we thinking? Let's do this thing. We're near the ferry terminal in Tarifa in southern Spain. And uh, I'm gonna try to grab some food for the family. Ran and got a bunch of egg sandwiches and went to the ATM. And the ATM ate my debit card. We had to like bang on the windows of the bank and some stranger helped me. And I eventually got my credit card back. Now we're a little bit late for the ferry, so we gotta hustle. I just got pulled over by the Spanish police. They've been super cool and super friendly but it's taking some time. We might miss our we ferry. We might miss our ferry. So I ended up getting a 250 euro ticket, but they just had me pay it on the side of the road with a credit card. It was interesting. Hey right, everyone, we gotta run. All right. 
Put it, don't they? Uno, dos, uno. Can I run that? That was crazy. No, it's a... Yeah, we'll see. I think that's cheese, eggs, and ham there. This is the best. This is my first time sailing on the Mediterranean Sea and our first time going to Africa. So this is gonna be cool. You see that? That's Africa. Wait, Kayo? Uh huh. Good morning. My name is Hassan. Hassan, yes. pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Tangier. These are Roman and Portuguese and British ruins and a lot of history. So are these some big cannons they used to control the Straits of Gibraltar around the turn of the 20th century. The whole entire Mediterranean Sea is bottlenecked by Tangier and Gibraltar. And if you control those two points, you can control who comes and goes in the Mediterranean Sea. So right now we're just exploring the main street of the Medina, which is kind of where they have the shops and a lot of people live and it's still early in the morning so it's quiet. And just things are just getting wound up. Tangier is all hills. Mm -hmm. All hills. So we're in the Jewish quarter of Tangier and you can see these old houses up above there. They have the dates and the initials of the original order from 1896. So we're walking down America Street and it's called that because Morocco was the first country to recognize the United States in 1776. Yeah. The time that was a cemetery, that was the... Yeah, a pickup motorcycle. We should get one of those. Yeah, I've never owned a pickup truck, but that's tempting right there. I... Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are scorpion fish. Yeah, tell me, see, this is Atlantic salmon. I think that's a whiting. Limpets, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that smells good. Oh, I love it. The smell of the spices in there. There's some really good food. Yeah, stay close. Thank you. Uh, uh, five euros? Uh, uh, you like that? Mm. Oh, it's nice. It's not too sweet. It's like lots of almonds and flour and sugar it's it's nice no, local, local. yeah let's try to do this Somehow one hard. this is another uh, okay. it's good huh? no i love it yeah. all right got some dates Morocco. Oh. Other. Yeah. Okay, you want to go downstairs? Oh, oh, yeah. Does that look awesome, Nathan? Yeah. With you his the garage. The most wonderful yeah, look at that. <laughs> Thank you. It's like I got a little Moroccan soccer team here. Oh, yeah, look at that, Red. This is a public oven. You bring your stuff down, you pay the guy, he cooks it for you. There you go, they're hazelnuts. You gotta roast them, otherwise they rot. Yeah. What is that? Here we go. Dude, mm -hmm. clean, your, clean your teeth with it. That's it. Hey, look at the tiles, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? Ooh. That's like they had in Lisbon, right? What do you guys think? Is this pretty cool? Look at the gun. You think maybe we need to get a knife or something to display yes. at home? Look at these guns. This Be careful, that's it. Yeah, that's a bayonet. I came this close to buying a musket. This close. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But Becca, I don't need more animal hides, right? I, oh, I, I don't have a goat hide, babe. I don't. Okay, I gotta get going. We basically have world. They cheat, you cheat. Here, here, this way. Come over here. Well, yeah, those are cool. That's a looks like a Fortnite. You can put it in your Christmas tree. Oh, it is like a Christmas tree. Over there. Oh. You know, considering how little sleep we got last night, I'm doing pretty good. Wow. There's cats just everywhere. The boys are loving it. It's lunchtime and we want to grab some Moroccan food. So we're going to come in and quickly grab some lunch. Oh. 
Oh, look at this. This is pretty. Oh. Is that, is that good bread? I like olives. Oh, the weather's been gorgeous. It's been laid back. Nothing's been crowded. This has been really nice. Highly recommend coming here in November. It's the Muslim call to prayer. You can hear the call to prayer of all the minarets across town. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. oh that's beautiful. beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. I think those are dates right there. And a big chunk of lamb and some eggs. And that's like some chicken and couscous mm -hmm. and cucumbers. Mm -hmm. I love lamb. Oh. <coughs> you can eat your food and Say thank you. Thank you. Like fresh squeezed mango. Just blended up. It is so good. With fresh squeezed mango. Oh, here, watch out. This is a dessert. Oh, you guys wouldn't like this. We should just yeah, eat it for you. The honey key. Oh, honey key. Yes. Oh, look at that. Mm. It's like a deep fried dough with honey and seeds on it. Good. Oh, that was good. That's wonderful. Good, huh? it's, it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. I like the forum where the Romans used to be. Ah, talk yeah. about I've seen seven, I've seen ten. Thank you so much. We That's had such right. a great time. Listen, if you guys are in Morocco and you want to do this too, make sure to check out VIP Africa. I'll put a link in the video description to this tour. It's a great way to see the city and get acclimated and it's really affordable. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice time. Thank you. You know, I had a lot of apprehension about Morocco. It's such a chill, friendly city and we had such a great time and felt so safe. Be real careful. Oh, Morocco is definitely on my list of places to go back and visit. Tell you what, the city of Tarifa is really cool. There are a ton of castles here. Man, I wouldn't mind spending more time in Tarifa either. Okay, we just entered Gibraltar and it is a tiny little territory of the United Kingdom. So tiny, in fact, that in order to enter Gibraltar, you have to drive across the runway for the airport. And the gates just went down because I think they're gonna have an airplane crossing. This is the runway right here. Oh, there's so many motorcycles. Here, why don't you? We're right underneath the Rock of Gibraltar, right there. Yeah, right on the beach. This is a nice little place. <laughs> ah! Oh. Dom, where did the soccer ball hit you? Right there. <laughs> oh. uh, have you been eating the sand? A little bit. <laughs> it's a gorgeous beach. Let's check out the water to see how warm it is. If it was sunny instead of raining, I think I might go swimming. Well, it's been kind of a low key afternoon. I've just been cleaning sand off the kids and we ordered some pizza and that, oh, oh wow. That's, that's, it's very small. The thing is that's a medium. <laughs> look at, it's so look at this. <laughs> this is like the size of, this is my finger. There you go, there's the world's smallest pizza right there. All right, well, long as it tastes good. And we got some leftover kebabs. Well, I think this is the perfect way to end the day. Just hang it out in bed, watching a goofy movie together. You guys like this? Yes. Well, I'm gonna put this up. I'll see you in the morning. We're gonna explore Gibraltar a little bit tomorrow. Well, good morning, guys. We slept so long. I think I went to bed at 9 p.m. and woke up at 8 a.m. So, good solid 11 hours. And I feel like I could do it in a couple more. <laughs> what a gorgeous morning. There's a nice little Ferrari. Oh, look at this, the castle wall, guys. You guys wanna go up the Rock of Gibraltar? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. See, look, you make fun of the monkeys and they bite you. You feed them, they also bite you. All right, guys. The table snaps, you'll fall in colors. And 
Yeah, we're, we're going to walk down. Oh, what the? Don't touch it. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. That monkey just jumped on me. Do get close to him. Oh, he's eyeballing that one lady. <laughs> yeah, my great uncle Gene got his ear bitten off by a monkey that was on his shoulder. So that's all I was thinking about. <laughs> All right guys, so this right here is all of Gibraltar. You can see we're right on top of the rock and there's this little strip of land on both sides where people live. And that right there is the runway. That's the border between Spain and Gibraltar. So that's all Spain, that's all Spain, that's all Spain. And way over there in the haze, that's Africa. That's the beach where we played soccer last night. That's where we stayed. Hey, don't, let, don't let the monkeys in. We'll, we'll kind of take the corner here. That's fancy, fancy hot European hot chocolate right there. That's what that is. Boys, what do you say? Thank you. Do you want me to taste a little, taste a little bit here? No, 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 no. no. Just, I'm just dad tax. Mm. You like that? It looks really good. I have an omelet on toast. All right, we're going to walk down the mountain and check out some sights along the way. Look at the little baby monkeys. Yeah, he's chewing on your head a little bit. He's just chewing away on your head. What? Oh, no, don't on my head. That kind of hurts. I kind of want him to jump on me. Oh, he his butt. Take your little baby one. How did I just saw Look at that. Becca's like, we're not going down this way. <laughs> okay. Look at them. I see you. That is the Gibraltar Skywalk. Well, I'm Luke, and since I went on the Skywalk, that makes me Luke Skywalker. The force is strong in this one. Oh, a little guard shack up here. Yeah, I think these are the toilets. Oh, there's a monkey. Don't get too close. Oh, I see what you're about. That monkey just grabbed onto my bag and tried to rip it open. I've seen him do it to a couple people to try to get food out of their bags. Yeah, 1789 to 1897. I want a specialist. Hey, look, the mountain has a nipple ring. Go together, go together. Okay. There's a whole bunch of caves here in Gibraltar and one of them is St. Michael's Cave. Is this a cave? They call it St. Michael's Cave because that giant slagtite formation looks like an angel with wings. Uh, Tommy's wearing the green shirt. So. Becca, do you love family photos? I do, even the headless floating Tommy one. I the green jacket too. And then my pants! I am no fan! I was kind of kitschy and short, but you know, I came free with the package. So it was kind of fun. Some lady was coming up and taking a selfie with a monkey, and the monkey jumped over her shoulder and like, here, grabbed her cell phone. Hey, look, caution, rabbits.
five battery here. Be slow, there's small birds without legs here. That's an old machine gun bunker. This is the City Under Siege exhibit. There's lots of different exhibits and things to see along this road, but we have to be very selective because we're running out of time. Hello. You gotta wear helmets. During the war, they dug these out to fill them full of supplies and men and barracks so they could hold out against Italy and Germany. Monkey. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're having us wear hard hats. <clears throat> Jay Anderson, Scotland, May 11th, 1959. Look at that goes way back there. It's the hospital. Look at these rock formations. Oh, this is where the kitchen was. Hudson fighter bomber. Oh, this one's getting low. Hey Tom, did you like that? Was that cool? Yeah. This is an old Moorish fort back from when the Moors controlled this part of the world. The Moors recaptured Gibraltar from the Spaniards in 1333. This fortress withstood 10 sieges. There's all these hand marks. Oh, trust stairs these days. Ooh, that's big. Look at the city wall. Too tall. Too tall. There's an old fortress courtyard. There's a wall that goes down. And there's some more gatekeeps down there. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh. I'm too tall. I'm... Check it out, you got a great view of the runway, which is the border between Spain and Gibraltar. There's a plane taxiing across the road and they've cut off the road. A pretty cemetery. Ooh, we Ooh. made it! Ooh, that was quite the hike. Oh. Well, we've had a great time in Gibraltar, but we've got to make tracks north to the Spanish city of Seville. I believe they do. Holy smokes, that is beautiful, wow. All right, guys, we're in Seville, Spain and we have rented a small palace. Let's go explore. My bed's not door. Oh my goodness. This, oh my goodness, this is huge. This is huge. Stop touching This is substantial. Stop touching I love how there's just like a living room in between the bedroom and the bathroom. Yeah, just, you know. Time. What? There's so uh, This is bedroom number four. Number four. Oh, yeah. There's a washer and dryer. You can do the laundry while sitting on the toilet. That's awesome. <laughs> Folded poo, people! I've realized we have lost Nathan in here. There's like a kitchen table in between all the bedrooms. Where is Nathan? Oh wow, this is this is huge. Oh, this must be the kitchen. Oh jeez. Oh, it's another bathroom. Whoa! Hey guys, guys, look, come here. Do you know what this is? Toilet? This is a bidet. This is for washing your butt. Oh! I thought that was a urinal. Nope. You guys excited to wash your bottoms? Can I go back upstairs? Well, another bathroom down here. More bidets. Bedroom number six. Open the door. All right. Ooh, that's nippy. Well, it's about 5.30, so siesta's just ended. And I think it's time for us to go out, explore the city a little bit, get some dinner. Uh, I was planning on taking a taxi, then I realized there's five of us. Because the Spanish take a siesta in the afternoon, they tend to stay up late and restaurants and businesses are open late. I think we're gonna take advantage of the Spanish nightlife and try to see the town tonight. All right, guys, this is the Parque Maria de Luisa. Those are all orange trees in this park. Cool, Nathan? Uh -huh. This is all like decorated tile, this whole thing. Apparently this is called El Plaza de España. This place is awesome. It's just full of people. Oh, it 
feels good to sit down and I am hungry. Uh. All right, we got some croquettes here. Well, this one's like cheese and you better go ham inside. Oh, look at that. Ooh, we got pork ribs and polimenta. It's pretty good. Well, we marched ourselves across the Seville and we got to see a lot of cool stuff that we didn't even know was here. Really excited to explore Seville some more. Is gelato better than ice cream? Yes. Nathan's the only one of my kids that's had gelato. All right, guys. Here's here's one for you. And uh, una. Gracias. And you've got the creme brulee. Guys, you like gelato better than ice cream? Yeah. Guys, are you having a great time in Seville? Yeah. Here, hop in the back. Mom. All right, Becca. I'll see you back at the house. Be good for mama. And I'm gonna go ahead and walk home, just kinda see the city a little bit. All right, get ready for bed, buddy. Well, we got the kids to bed, and it's just me and Becca in our little Spanish palace. But it's late, so we're just gonna go ahead and put up the camera, and I will see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. Me and Tom are getting out and about before everyone wakes up. We're gonna go get ourselves some bakery goods and bring them back to the family. You ready to do some hunting gathering with your dad? Yes, sir. All right. Me and Nathan had those last time we were in Spain. Let's go. Look at that. I love how she wrote, wrapped that. Maybe get like some croissants or something. Automatic juicing machine. You like that? Holy smokes, they don't got this in the US. <laughs> I've seen it before. Okay. There it goes, yeah. Alright, Tom, we got breakfast. Alright. Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. This Iberico ham is awesome. It's made by taking this special breed of pig, feeding it only acorns, and then taking the hind legs and curing it in salt for a year and a half to three years. And it's just delicious. Oh, this, this croissant is full of Nutella. Uh -huh. No, Tom, you wouldn't like it. You hate Nutella. I love Nutella. It's dragon food. Now that we got breakfast out of the way, I think we're gonna go see Seville a little bit. We're gonna do a little carriage ride or something. All right, guys. Oh, taxis are so cheap here. We've yet to pay over five bucks for one. Yeah. Hi, should we go do a horse ride? <laughs> when me and Becca got married, we had a horse-drawn carriage take us to our honeymoon suite and a lady with very few teeth drove the carriage and played Led Zeppelin very loudly. So this is the park we walked through last night and it is absolutely gorgeous. In South America. When they... This is the Plaza de España that we checked out last night and it's really gorgeous in the daytime. The boys are jazzed because a little bit of Star Wars Episode 2 was filmed here. The people you serve thought you did a good job. Oh yeah, we're getting into traffic. Ah, gracias, senor. Look, they got a Taco Bell. We can get authentic Mexican food. What do you think? All right, guys, you gotta, you gotta try a paella there. Okay, I know this is fast food paella, but that's kind of what we need. We're checking out in like 20 minutes, so. Daddy. Oh, well, that was lovely, but way too quick. Once again, another place we've got to come back to. Yeah. Try a Spanish deal. Settler. Yeah, I like it. You don't feel like you're getting cancer when you eat it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Portugal! Woo! Yay! 
you think? Does this look good? It's not upside down. Yeah, oh, yeah. Let's go upstairs. Oh, look at that. There is. Not bad. All right, let's see what's upstairs. Got some more beds and more bum washers. Are you guys going swimming? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Come here, Jacob. I'll help you to swim. No! I, oh, it is so nice to be out of that car and just relaxing here in the sun. All right, we're gonna go get some dinner. Oh, that is a perfect sunset. What a beautiful beach. This is why I love coming to the Mediterranean over Thanksgiving break. The weather's nice and there's no crowds. The view's lovely. Oh, look at that, it's a fancy hot chocolate. Jake, are you putting more sugar in your hot chocolate? Mm-hmm. Oh, that looks I literally... This is a salad. We've got cheese, ham, fruit, really veggies underneath there. Ranch with citrus in it. Iberico ham and melon. Did you enjoy your hot chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> but I appreciate that. Well, good morning. It's a lovely day and time for some breakfast. I'm gonna put some balsamic vinegar on this. All right, you're right, just a touch of pity pity, which is a little bit like Tabasco sauce. Yeah. Uh, should we have some breakfast? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of course, yeah. Uh. Well, today me and the boys are going fishing. Now, originally we were gonna take a charter to a hidden beach with this awesome cave, but the waves are kind of rough today. And so the captain said, we can't do that. We can only go fishing. And so mom's gonna stay back with Jacob and me and the boys are gonna go fishing. Bye-bye, babe. What? Hello, sir. Nice oh. to meet you. I am Nuno. Nuno. We're gonna try to fish. What's your name? What? It's a good relationship. Look at that gorgeous beach over there. Portugal has amazing beaches and great surfing. We got some razor clams. We got some shell clams. We got prawns. This is good bait anywhere in the ocean. Now, who's going to catch the most fish? I am. Who's I'm going to catch the most fish? I'm Constantly checking if you have any bait. Yeah. Not for a Oh, Tom, you got something there. Oh, oh I got yeah. oh. You got, you got. What, what are these called? This one looks like a. They are type of bream. There we go. Going back down. Okay. Oh, there you go. I think I got something on again. Nope. Striped bream, huh? I know that. Holy mackerel! It's a mackerel. Oh, it might be. Horse mackerel. Blue. This is a little bream, but it, this one's a little small to keep, right? It's a little small, we'll throw them back. Let's see what we got. Oh. I have a herd of horse mackerels. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Tom. Oh, look at that. Bazugu? That is an excellent name. You've caught a bazugu. A bazooka. Put it in the bazooka bucket. Oh. -ho. It looks like a bazooki. There you go. Bazooki. Okay. 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 There, a little horse mackerel. That was like 10 years ago. Like, look at that. Not too shabby. So uh, we're going to go ahead and fire up the grill. <laughs> I yeah, like that's... teleporting pickles. Tommy, we're not going hungry today. Don't worry. It just left. It just left. get a thing of ribs here. And that's hello. Charcoal on the beach. On the boat is impossible. It's cleaning it. All right, we're going to see the technique here. Nice. Oh, okay. All right, you ready, to, you ready to try the bazooka? He's smiling at me. Fun. What do you think of the bazooka? Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Mmm, fresh fish on a boat on a beautiful day. Take one of those, thank you. 
<laughs> Get my boat. It's so weird because it's pretty calm out here in the ocean, but those are big breakers. I think those are like eight, ten feet. What? These cliffs are gorgeous and there's a whole bunch of beautiful little caves and secluded beaches that you can see. But the waves are really rough right on the shore and so we can't take the dinghy into the caves. Oh, those cliffs are beautiful. No, we can kick the balls. I already know. You got this? Yeah. Oh, we want you to go over. If you want to come here and fish with Cruzero de Oras or do any of the things you see in this video, check the video description below for all the links to their websites. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much. Oh, you see some mullet? Look at this, look at the mullet here. Every restaurant on the streets got the World Cup game tuned in. Portugal's playing in the World Cup today. Hello! Well, while we were gone, apparently mom found a secret staircase. Oh my goodness. Well, this is pretty. Becca, has this been a fun trip? It's been a great trip. Happy Thanksgiving! It is! It is Thanksgiving and we need to go and find some place to go eat a very Portuguese Thanksgiving dinner. Sounds good. Let's do it. Yes, that looks good. Oh, you got melted cheese with honey and nuts. Babe, we got a lot to be thankful for this season, don't we? Oh, that looks good. Thank you very much. Look at that. Black pig Iberico steak. Not too shabby for Thanksgiving. And all the kids have ran off to go play with neighborhood children in the little park behind us, and they are having a ball. So it's turning out to be a great day. Whew. This has been a lovely house, but it's time to head back to Lisbon. Oh. Okay. See, there we go. Okay, whoever's going with mom, hop in there. Oh, hey, look at this, look at this. How do you like your egg tart? Love it. Hey, are you hungry or do you got dinner covered? I gotta confess, we're a little tired and it feels so good to just sit down and get some food. There you go. Bacon wrapped dates. I've never had this before. Delicious. Oh, that is my new favorite thing to wrap in bacon. I think we're about to get a little sample of Fado music here. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Tommy, you like your food? I'm eating a food uh, Nathan's got some chicken and I've got some octopus. Oh. All right, guys, you all full? Yes. I think it's time to head back to the hotel. All right. All right, guys, we're back at our hotel and we've got to get these boys to bed because we're getting up at 3 a.m. to catch our flight. Next morning. Hey, Tom, up and down, buddy. Hey, Nathan. Six down. What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song Two hours a day Five months and a year Oh, I loved you too long It has been a long, long day. But did you have fun? Yeah. Yes. Well, listen, guys, if you had fun too, make sure to check out our travel and adventure playlist We've got dozens of travel videos, both domestic and foreign, and we think you guys will love them. I'll put a link in the video description below. And don't forget to click subscribe because we put out new videos every Saturday morning. Click subscribe, nailed it.